Welcome to DarrenKagan.com. I'm Darren Kagan, and this is the place you come each day to experience stories that show the world what's possible. I want to take today to update you on one of the first stories I ever posted here at DarrenKagan.com when we launched about five months ago. Sebri Omer is showing us that you can live the American dream and also not forget where you come from. Sebri is just back from his homeland of Ethiopia, where he's doing some incredible things. You're watching some of the most encouraging news to hit Ethiopia in a long time. The arrival of the country's first fully equipped ambulance. Oh, ambulance, one of the best things ever happened to, uh, of course, uh, not only Harar, but Ethiopia. And it's because of this man, Sebri Omer, an Ethiopian who immigrated to the United States 20 years ago. We first met him here on DarrenKagan.com back in November. How are you feeling? You feel better? Yeah. Sebri Omer is living the American dream. He owns this gas station in Minimart. He also used to own this gas station and this car wash. Why he sold half his businesses will amaze you. He was born 46 years ago in eastern Ethiopia, in the city of Harar. When he was 17, the country was in turmoil, and he had to flee. My parents, they don't want me to get killed, or yeah, so that, you know, therefore they, uh, they sent me out of the country. His flight turned to opportunity. I happened to get a chance to come to the United States, and I took advantage of it by working three jobs. Uh, and went to school and went to college and, uh, and I really used the opportunity. Call it the American dream, a wife, a family, and this small business. All right, we'll talk to you all later. All right, thanks a lot, appreciate it, we'll see you now. 10 years ago, things had calmed down in his Ethiopian city, so Sebri went to visit, but he was appalled by what he saw. And one of my family members got very sick and then I happened to go to one of the, uh, the hospitals in, in Harar. So when I went there, what I see was just terrible. Uh, Tell me about what you saw when you went and looked at those hospitals. What, what I saw was basically in one room, there is about anywhere between 20, 25 people in one room with uh, possibility of 20 different diseases in one patient room. Uh, there are ceiling hanging to fall down on the patients. Uh, you, it's just unbelievably unhealthy environments. When Sebri came back from Ethiopia, he had this big dream to build a hospital, but he had no cash. He did have these other businesses, another gas station and a car wash. For Sebri, there was only one option, sell these businesses and finance the hospital. That wasn't an issue for me. I think I can just have in one store, I can survive. I can still eat, I can still drive, I can go to the nice restaurant and still eat. But how about my people there? So that's why that was to me was more than what I need. So that's why I sold my store to help the, the community there. This is what that amazing sacrifice produced, the Imaj Medical Center. When we started, it was 25-bed hospital. Right now, we're up to 45-bed hospital. We do inpatient outpatients. Uh, we have emergency services, operation services. We do pretty much from any minor surgeries to major surgeries, OBGYN department, x-ray department, laboratory departments. We also have uh, in-facility pharmacy. And it was telling his story that led to this. <laughs> Ethiopia's first ambulance. Metro Atlanta, a Georgia ambulance service, saw every story and donated it. AirTramp and World Airways paid for the ride over. The impact has been immediate from the first day it arrived. So believe it or not, we, 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 we got a call before we got to the hospital to pick up the patients. And so uh, it, it's, it's, it has an impact such as like this one. So just imagine before the day that it arrived before we got to the hospital, you know, it was that much need to have that ambulance there. Gratitude is sent all the way from Ethiopia. I would like to say thank you, thank you. Uh, the one who give us this ambulance, uh, thank you. This all leads to Sebri's next big dream. The next dream is uh, we're trying to uh, build the first hospice center in, e in Ethiopia. He sees the need firsthand every time he visits Ethiopia. People sick with HIV and AIDS, living in shacks. 
that's what motivates him, even if people tell him he's crazy to dream so big. Well, you know, people say that to build in the hospital was too big of a dream. I think uh, anything, if you can concentrate, if you can focus, anything is possible. Sebri truly is showing all of us and showing the world what's possible. What about you? Do you have an inspiring story? I would love to hear from you. Just click on the box down below that says, tell me your story and let me know how you show the world what's possible. I'm Darren Kagan, and I will see you right back here tomorrow with another inspiring story right here at DarrenKagan.com.